Welcome to the Maniac's 40 million pound mansion, Nicholas Van Hoogstraten. I'm pretty sure that's his name, but he is an absolute maniac. If he knew we was here right now, pop, pop. I don't think I showed you the shotgun shells, but that's probably security around it because it's so harsh. But he built this place for his actual art collection. It's Britain's most expensive one bedroom building. How nuts is that? It's just for himself and his artwork. And he actually had a mausoleum built in like a crypt area. See, so he, when he died, he'd be buried there with all his art, not handed down to none of his children or anything. He wanted to die with everything that was uh, expensive, which is absolutely madness. But he is a lunatic. There's so much history on him. I'm gonna try and put a few clips in. Good evening, a multi-millionaire property developer who often behaved as if he was above the law has been found guilty at the Old Bailey of manslaughter. Van Hoogstraten dispatched his henchman to Mohammed Raj's home at Sutton in Surrey. They stabbed and shot him. His sentencing has been delayed so that he can be psychiatrically assessed. The judge warned he was considering giving him a life term. Nick was finally sentenced to 10 years in prison. Dealing stamps professionally at school, he was a millionaire by 22. And a year later, jailed for a hand grenade attack on a business associate. Later on, it helped encourage his growing reputation. When described as a slum landlord with a hatred for tenants, he gave the quotes. Tenants of filth. He built a palace on his estate and barred the public right of way. Ramblers, they're scavengers, trespassing, if you like, on other people's land and property. And crucially, he'd admitted on television that he was probably ruthless and probably violent. I go for direct personal retribution. I think I've gone on public record in the past of saying that I'd have had his b chopped off. He could agree to show me Hamilton Palace, which had once seemed to be what all his fortune was for. I don't like all these blinking brambles going around the place. No. Built to last thousands of years, it would house all his valuable possessions immortalising his wealth and tying it up forever so no one else could enjoy it. I'm not happy because I'm noticing the damage that's being caused to the young trees by deer. The biggest private house built in Britain for over a century. Nick spent £28 million so far, but it's not been worked on for years. What are the plans for it at the moment? There aren't any plans at the moment. I'm dealing with far more important issues. Have you put its completion on hold, then? I haven't put it on hold, no. It's all the like, shitbag corrupt judges and fit up by the police. That's what's put it on hold. Is it true, Nick, there's um, a mausoleum in there? Yeah, over there. That's, the mausoleum is there. You see, the, the end section, that far east pavilion, it's got an additional floor underneath there. That's where the mausoleum is. Let's go around to the the river house or the lake house. It's through there. And the mansion's up there. Jesus. I've heard some horrific stories about people that guard this place though. Dead bird. Oh, oh Jesus. Right, let's get these stairs and have a look at this view. Jesus. Then you can see the main mansion up there. Look at it, man. Wow. 
It is sick. Some of the design. And we're right on the right on the lake. It's water all around it like a moat. Yeah, there's a swan nest, yeah. He's sat on it over there. Yeah, probably. Look at these huge pillars and stuff. Stop. It is nuts, eh? Huh? That is mad. And it never got lived in. What a madness. Right. Look at the size of the mansion up there. It just goes on and on. What the hell? Look at this place. No. Spectacular. No, you can't. You've got to get down there. It's crazy. Let's go in. I think you can't even see the dome on top, which was worth like £180,000 on its own. Just like a copper dome. Yeah. Let's go check these steps. I know you can't get in here because. I mean, not even the copper thieves will come here, they're too scared. Madness. Some of that. Jesus Christ. Look, that's these main stairs, the main entrance. You want like a Disney esque. Entrance. That is nuts. Forty million pound. of the place. As you can see it's all like proper boarded up now. Padlocked. Jesus man. We can't be here too long. And the crazy thing is this is where security normally are patrolling there. Very violent security as well. Lost adventures, baby. The sheer size of this place. Oh yeah, and one quick thing. We don't normally put out a video where we don't get into the building but come on gov yeah this place started getting built in uh, 1986 and stop uh, work stopped in 2006 uh, and all it looks like they got done was the shell really and he's off in uh, Zimbabwe only trying not to get killed or something it's a shame we can't get in, but we don't break and enter. It's not our style. But it is probably just going to rot away if it's left like this. And he's not going to do anything. and It's going to be impossible to get hold of. £40 million. And you just leave it. 
How mad is that? Yo, Lost Adventures, we're out of this one. If you're new to the channel and that, hit the subscribe button. Uh, the Maniac's 40 million pound mansion. We better get out of here before some crazy stuff happens. Thanks for watching. Yeah, 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 you don't want to end up floating down the Thames.